Welcome everyone to today's video. We are the Dimitrov Boulay Piano Duo. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov. And my name is Sofia Boulay. Why are you waiting? <laughs> oh, you were saying nothing before. <laughs> Welcome everyone to today's video. We are Dimitrov Boulay Piano. Dimitrov Boulay Piano Duo. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov. <laughs> my name is Sofia Boulay. Why am I pronouncing my name Dim <laughs> Dimitrov? <laughs> Take six. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone to today's video. We are the Dimitrov Boulay Piano Duo. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov. And my name is Sofia Boulay. And in today's video, I have no idea what we're going to talk about, <laughs> but Elvira does. And uh, we're going to talk to you. We're going to share with you our favorite exercises of um, our current favorite exercises. So before we start, why are exercises important? And you mean technical exercises, of course. Yes. Yeah, so um, when you are practicing, we generally talk uh, on the channel a lot about practicing slow and practicing with metronome. But when you that's all very, very good. But when you have a passage, a technical passage, for example, or a musical passage that's not working for you, and you've repeated it slow, you've practiced it with a metronome, but you kind of need, and it's still not working, right? You kind of need something extra. There's a lot of different exercises that you can do. And I think that generally switching up your practice, keeping it really uh, varied, also make sure that you don't kind of get comfortable, you you activate, just it, you keep yourself fresh, so you keep your concentration and your focus better if you do a variety of things. And I think that exercises are a really good example of this. Okay, but before we move on to showing exercises and what are our favorite ex exercises, perhaps it's good to answer one question mm -hmm. because I get very often this question from my students, from our students in general. Should we do etudes, should we do exercises on the side or is it enough mm -hmm. to practice our just our pieces, the, the repertoire we are working on at this moment? I remember what that we uh, shot a video on that subject to play etudes or not play etudes. I'll link it up for you here. And I think our conclusion was yes, play etudes. But I think that if we take the question one step further, uh, if you have short time to practice, should you choose between practicing etudes, your pieces, or both? I think personally that I think it is possible to skip etudes. Mm -hmm. I think it is possible, but I think that also etudes are something very useful. Etudes are going to give you additional skills, but most of the people don't like playing etudes. And I understand, I didn't like playing etudes. It's something very normal. To many of you, these pieces seem dry, seem uninteresting, to me they seem the same way, even though now currently I'm going to share with you, I'm since I started composing, I'm actually doing every day a few minutes of Czerny etudes. And I don't find them dry at all, I don't find them boring at all, I find that they really work. I mean, that's, that's proven already, I don't need to prove that, so I think it it is really useful, but you can go about it without. Absolutely. I, um, myself personally, I find it is one of the nicest things to practice, funnily enough. Hmm. And, and I do think every time and time again, they give me benefits and I would never skip them. But if you are doubting about skipping etudes, not skipping etudes, you can always consider practicing them, for example, once a week doing five days out of the week, six days out of the week, your pieces, and then one day of the week, some technical exercises or etudes or both. Anyway, the benefits of doing exercises has to be mentioned. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I, interesting because I meant an exercise like an, an, you have a passage in your piece and then you do an exercise and now we're talking about etudes. Wait a second. <laughs> we just realized that we're talking about two different things. Yes. Elvira actually means <laughs> Exercise is not as in etudes. No, no etudes. Oh, no. Well, that's why I went to talk about <laughs> etudes. I think we're going to take seven. Oh, I consider etudes also to be well, exercises. They are exercises, of course. So I Holy think, yeah. crap, this video <laughs> is definitely uh, very organized and very nice. But, uh, you know, we keep it real. We just, we just enjoy shooting these videos for you. So you mean exercises as in, for example, okay, demonstrate for us what would you mean by an exercise? So you encounter a difficult passage? Yes, and then I would do an exercise in order Aha, to practice it in a different way. So not just a slow mean. practice, but for example, well, I'll, shall I just start? Yeah, absolutely, just because I have start. nothing to show. <laughs> okay. 
okay so this week i was practicing this passage it's a passage that i'm sometimes struggling with because it sometimes doesn't work completely technically and musically it sometimes also doesn't work completely so instead of only practicing it slow and middle tempo and fast as what generally is, should be part of your practice routine always to do these kind of repetitions instead of only repeating it by the way we have a video about that as well check it up here you can uh, try, try to approach this passage in different ways because if you approach a passage in different ways you're going to really improve it quicker than if you just keep on repeating. So I'll share with you my favorite exercise of this moment. Um, it varies. I have different fa uh, exercises that I like to just do at different going. times. Okay, I'm gonna start. Uh, let me play the passage. It's a little tricky f from the way I'm sitting, but this is the passage. That's a really great example of a passage that didn't work. It was sloppy. My thirds weren't completely there. Um, Don't. <laughs> and yes, Dimitar already warned you, I understood. And um, so now I'm going to share with you how I would work that. I would first repeat it as I normally do, slow, etc. But the exercise that I would use is some that you can definitely use in your practice a lot. So I'm going to start here where the difficulty begins. I'll show you in the score. So I'm going to start with the first three notes. The first three notes is the first time that you transition your hand. So you, so, isolate, you isolate I, the very difficult spot of yeah. the difficult passage. Exactly. So okay. I isolate it really, really, I make it very, very, very small. And I tackle the first problem alone without trying to continue. Now, what students always do is they do that one time and then they do continue the passage. But I would say repeat it a couple of times only these first three difficult 16th notes. So, but I want to add something. So in order for them to be able to do that, mm -hmm. they first need to actually find out what causes a problem in the problematic passage. Yes. So I, I that's, think that's actually a great point. I think that's one of the big maybe secrets. Maybe one, one video we can talk yeah. about in the future, not to extend this video to make it too long. <laughs> but perhaps that would be a useful video to talk about because that's also a skill in itself. I think that, that that's Finding out. very, very interesting because I think that's one of the biggest secrets of practice that you actually try to find out what the problem is. Because if you know what the problem is, you can you find can an exercise to, to a solve creative it. creative solution, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the reason that I use this exercise for this passage is because the problem here is the um, transferring of your hand. So you're, you're putting your hand over and that, and that is where it can go wrong. So what you have to isolate is when you turn your hand over. Um, so what I'm going to do now, we had the first three sixteenth notes, I'm going to add just one. Just one and stop. So now I'm playing four sixteenth mm -hmm. notes instead of three. Now I want to add that if you do mess up, for example, you go back again. So you don't try the four notes, you go back to the back beginning, to back three. to those three. And if you mess up the three? And then I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> then you go then you go slower uh, so if you do for example three times after each other without mistake the four then you add a fifth note anyway we get the idea the idea is to isolate a few notes mm -hmm. that are actually causing the problem mm -hmm. and start adding notes in mm -hmm. order to expand the passage exactly that's the idea yeah. well I think that's actually a very very good idea um, from Elvira to talk to talk about this, I, I don't think I'm going to add anything. What I would say more is that, first of all, develop the skill to find out where the problem lies, what's the problem, what's causing a problem. And of course, that's much easier with a teacher because it takes years of experience with a teacher in order to start finding out those problems yourself, let alone if you're alone on your own but of course a lot of you can't afford teachers and if that's the case that's why you're watching videos like this so you can accumulate as much knowledge as possible so that's one find out what the problem is and then start looking for creative ways to solve the problem that's why I, th I think that there is no point that I show favorite exercise because when you say favorite exercise mm -hmm. I, I think I don't have a favorite exercise it's just about something that's going to solve my problem. Mm -hmm. I'm very practical in that sense. I just want a solution to a mm -hmm. problem. It doesn't matter what the exercise is. I'm mm -hmm. going to do it as long as it produces result. Mm -hmm. 
what I would say for me personally, I, at the moment I'm just doing Cherny Attitudes and I'm a fan. If you can overcome your um, like reluctance and dislike to Attitudes and put a little bit more discipline and practice Attitudes, you will benefit a lot. But a lot of people don't like it, so that's your problem then. You're going to battle just passages separately. Um, you have to have, you know, you, you get the consequences of your, you just, ha your choices will have consequences. And so when you don't work on etudes, you're going to really miss on some things. As I've missed on some things throughout my career, I had to work extra on the pieces. And it is possible, but you have to put extra effort. So yeah. that will be my take on I it. I like that. Just yeah. do, just do a, a lot of etudes and... This kind of exercises you need to do less and less simply because you have in your arsenal of skills you have a lot a lot of tools yeah and um, of course now and then you have to do it but yes but that, yeah. that's that's what I and if you've missed uh, some of our videos talking about etudes generally our favorites include Cherny etudes as you've yeah. understood from Dimitar my favorite and also the Hennon I I'm a big fan of the Hennon because the Hennon for example has these exact passages in thirds it has scales in thirds it has scales in sixths it has chromatic scales it has scales in octaves but talking all about the dry, techniques talking about dry. Yeah, i love it i mean i yeah. but i've loved etudes since i'm very very small so. what i mean is for somebody who doesn't like etudes yeah they're going to hate hannon so you like yeah yeah if etudes. you're weird like me and like etudes like dry etudes dry etudes I, I think it's fantastic. Then it's really useful. I and agree. you notice such a big difference. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. So, um, but anyway, words don't really teach. You have to try it and see for yourself. But yeah, I, do you want to say something else? Because no, I, I think, I this think is great. it's nice to wrap this video up. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, if anything out of this video arises or from the other videos that that's bothering and that don't be, don't feel. Um, reluctant to to share with with us your questions we'll answer any questions that come up thank you so much for watching this video um i'm happy to be back and in a record a video together if don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it's growing and you're helping us a lot by subscribing and watching our videos thank you so much for being here i think for the people that watched until so far i i think i have a little surprise well a little announcement very soon Dimitar uh, will start com uh, start uploading composing videos. So yeah. and I think so it will help. Definitely, you will start doing it when we reach a thousand subscribers. Definitely. So the faster we're there, I think the faster you'll see some of the secrets behind those beautiful pieces that he's composing. Yeah, and also follow us because if you if you keep in touch with us through Facebook. I've gotten so many nice reactions about my music and people are really waiting for sheet music, for the music, uh, for the music itself to come out. So keep in touch with us and you will soon be seeing new things from us. Again, thank you so much for being here and watching this video for us. As always, it was a great pleasure recording it for you and we will see you next week.